So Jordan Love is now entering his third season in the NFL, and his first two seasons were definitely filled with lots of ups and downs, as it typically goes for quarterbacks who have you know recently made their way into the NFL. But this offseason, the Packers, of course, decide to come in and sign Aaron Rodgers to a three-year extension. And with this happening, lots of people were questioning, should the Packers trade Jordan Love, maybe try to get some kind of draft compensation, maybe a second-round pick, third-round pick? Who knows exactly what other teams would be willing to offer. But I have said my take has been the Packers should keep Jordan Love because, first off, you never know when a player is going to go down with an injury. Jordan Love has been here for two years learning the system. And also, too, when you add in the fact that Aaron Rodgers had said he doesn't know how long he's going to play, even though he did sign his three-year extension, he could, after one year, say, you know what, guys, it's been a fun ride, I'm done, I'm retiring. And if the Packers were to trade Jordan Love this offseason and then Rodgers retire next offseason, that would just be very unfortunate because I don't think the Packers and Brian Gutekunst, you know, want to trade a player when he could need to be used sometime soon in the future. So in the past couple of days, there have been some very, very positive things coming out of training camp about Jordan Love, some comments from Matt LaFleur as well as Aaron Rodgers. And I want to go through some of these comments. And it's great to see because as Jordan Love has had ups and downs his first two seasons, it looks like things are really starting to come together for him entering the third year um, in his time here in Green Bay. So this first quote here comes from Matt LaFleur, posted on PackersNews.com in an article by Cassidy Hill as are all these comments that I found. And LaFleur says here, I think that might have been one of his best practices we've seen in three years. So this is referring to Tuesday's training camp practice. I made a video, I think two days ago, after that practice about just how good Jordan Love was looking. All the beat reporters were reporting um, just how solid he was looking in that practice. And after Matt LaFleur comes in and says, this was one of the best practices we've seen um, in three years for Jordan Love. And then here's Aaron Rodgers describing what he's seen from Jordan Love right here. He says the ball was great, but it all starts with the footwork. It was an inside zone fake on the left at the top of his drop. He was heavy, and he one-hitched a perfect 4-5-5-4 four, five, five, four to throw that ball. That's the difference. When you start figuring out the fundamentals and throwing from the ground up, the throwing becomes the easy part because your feet tell you exactly when to throw the ball, and that was beautiful footwork. So I was watching Aaron Rodgers' press conference earlier this morning from yesterday, and he was describing Tom Clements, of course, quarterback's coach for the Packers now, coming back here to Green Bay after being here with Rodgers early in his career. And he's credited Tom Clements to lots of his success of, you know, teaching him the fundamentals. And he said that this offseason, when discussing with Matt LaFleur, Rodgers was saying, if you want someone to come in to really solidify the fundamentals in these young quarterbacks, you should bring in Tom Clements. And so with Tom Clements coming in here, I wonder if the reason Jordan Love is starting to look better is because of what Tom Clements is teaching him, focusing on the fundamentals. I think that definitely could be one of the reasons that we're seeing Jordan Love look as good as he has looked, according to LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers. And here's another quote from Rodgers on this situation. So he says, I mentioned that to Matt, you know, after the season. If he wants to bring in somebody to teach fundamentals the right way every single day, then Tom's the guy. The attentiveness to the fundamentals, I think, is really going to help Jordan and Danny Etling out because if you want to be accurate in this league, you got to throw the ball in rhythm and on balance. And I think for the first time, there's the right amount of emphasis on those fundamentals. So not only has Jordan Love now had two years in the system coming into year three, he's also picking up these fundamentals and things are moving a lot more smoothly for him. Less thinking, more just acting on what exactly he's supposed to do. And then here we have from Jordan Love himself. He says, watching film from last year, the games I played in, lots of throws, my feet would be kind of off, not, not be pointed to the target, not have a perfect base. So that's the biggest thing I've been working on, Love said. Just continue to keep a base whenever you're throwing. Whether you get off of platform or not, just try to get back to the base as quickly as you can and just continue to grow from that base. So now with Jordan Love, the thing is, we don't know if we're going to see him play here in Green Bay as a starter because if Rodgers were to say start for two more, three more years, the Packers are in a sort of interesting situation because right now with Jordan Love entering the third year of his rookie contract, after this season, they'll have to decide if they want to give him that fifth-year option and exercise it. But if you haven't even seen the player play, I don't think that really makes much sense. Um, and so then it means, okay, he finishes year three this year, and then year four will be his last year on the rookie contract. And let's say after year four, he uh, Aaron Rodgers decides to retire after two years. The Packers decide to move on to Jordan Love. It's like, how much are you going to pay Jordan Love? You haven't seen him play. You, I don't think you can give him some massive contract because if you haven't seen a player play, there's no way you're going to give him tons of money. 
So it puts him in an interesting situation, and I don't know exactly what's going to happen. And part of me is wondering, like, does Brian Gutekinds have a clear idea of how long Rodgers is going to play? Because from the press conferences I've seen from Rodgers in the past few months, it really seems to me like Rodgers doesn't know how long he's going to play. It sort of seems like a year-to-year thing, where I think after this year he'll say, okay, do I want to keep playing? Do I not want to keep playing? And he'll decide after this year. So part of me thinks that Gutekinds doesn't know what uh, Aaron Rodgers' plan is, because I don't think Aaron Rodgers completely knows exactly what's going to happen in the future and so uh, you'd have to assume that Gudikins has you know multiple plans in place like for if if uh, Aaron Rodgers decides to retire after this year I think easily you move on to Jordan Love and sort of see what he has and let him go out and play and see what he looks like in a full season if Rodgers plays two more years do you give Jordan Love a new contract I guess you have to maybe you give him a one-year contract to see what he can do maybe that would make sense if he plays poorly he moves on if he plays great you pay him big money uh, so there's lots of uncertainties when it comes to the future, and obviously right now we are in training camp for the Packers, and Rodgers is starting quarterback, so we don't really need to worry about lots of these things, but the reason I just wanted to make this video is just because it's good to see Jordan Love taking these steps forward, because I think lots of people in the past, after seeing him versus the Chiefs, not looking great, wanted to completely move on from him after that point, but I still think for young quarterbacks who haven't had much opportunity to start, I just think you have to give him some time, and so that's why I think that we should keep Jordan Love for the time being and sort of see where things take us with Aaron Rodgers. And if Rodgers does retire after this year, give Love the opportunity to come in here, take the starting role, and uh, show us exactly what he can do over an entire season. But that's pretty much all I have for this video. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed to my second channel, NFL channel, I'm putting out other NFL content over there. So feel free to go check it out, Sideline Scoop NFL, where I'm posting NFL news, other th random things, other quarterbacks, stuff like that. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.